There's over 3.5 billion women in the world. Of these women, one out of three has been sexually or physically attacked at some point in their life. That's over 1.4 billion women worldwide. He got on top of me and he held this knife at my throat and there was nothing else I could do but give up my virginity. And as I was reaching out, some man came out from a tree and he did have a history of breaking into other women's apartments um, and he would scope them out. I was so used to seeing guys around him because that was in the past he had threatened me. He stabbed me in my neck. Just for you to understand something, that I went through that. I was kidnapped and locked in a house for six hours, molested. Molested again multiple times, gang raped, and date raped twice. All of which I assumed that was my place in life. I'm Spice Williams Crosby. I'm an actress, stunt woman, martial artist, doctor of holistic nutrition, but I've also been a victim. And I know what it's like for someone to take my power away and live my life as a survivor. It wasn't until I learned street smart survival skills that I was able to take my power back and go from victim to victor. For the past 25 years, I've traveled the world teaching others to do the same. Now joining me, my team, Greg, David, Shervin, and Say. Hey guys, how you doing? How the hell is Say? Hey guys, how's it going, Say? Hey, Good to see you guys. I just tracked down Say. He's in Hong Kong. He's looking to get a plane out of here as soon as possible, so okay. we should have him anytime soon. Hey Spice, hey team. Uh, I'm in Hong Kong right now, training an actor. All right, well look, we don't have time because we're in an emergency situation. Ani Yancey's attacker that stabbed her multiple times in the throat, chest, whatever, he's getting out of prison what? very soon. She has recovered from her wounds, but she has not recovered mentally. She still thinks she's a victim. Nah, no, I'll beg your place, but I gotta tell you, my opinion, I don't think she got it. I'll give, I'll give it my all. You're her. Yeah, I don't have to react like that. I grab you on the balls and I hit you here. I take your knee and I throw you back to the room. You deserve that. Well, yeah. You know, guys, that's what we're teaching. As soon as, soon as we get going with her, um, she's going to be a victor. And that's where we need to go. Awesome, Mr. Yes, 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 yes. yes. She broke down a couple of times. Uh, she had relapses. She went down for the A wall. She was crying, and then she just went by all of a sudden. I don't know what to do. You want to go talk to her? Yeah, I'm gonna get in. On Yancy. But again, she came back strong, and she didn't quit at all. She hit hard. <laughs> I have traveled all over the world, not just teaching, but listening to these victims. And one of their biggest fears is that they're never gonna have a, a loving, sexually satisfying life. And I'm here to tell you, I'm over 60. And I am so blessed because I started making choices out of love and not out of fear. I have a wonderful marriage of 26 years, a gorgeous husband, a beautiful son, and my sweet little dog and I get to come home and share my life with my family and feel safe. And I choose now to want to share that with others so that we all can be empowered and take our power back. It's not my intention to turn these women into Bruce Lee, but to help them take their power back by learning street smart survival skills. Take them down! Now 
I'm grateful to be part of this. Sure. Thank you so much for the opportunity to tell the women that they always have the power to walk away from any relationship. We will teach others how to be aware, prevent, be prepared, and when necessary, fight for their lives.